Thank you guys, my name is Game of Boy, and today's game we're going to be playing, it's called Ratchet and Clank, Cracking Time, and I'm going to have to defeat this enemy that's in front of me, and I'm going to have to go and do that to reach Lumos and everything, so yeah, that's something that I need to do. I hope I've collected enough Zuni, because I don't know if I need to upgrade my ship or not, but if I do, then I will be collecting the Zuni and doing stuff like that, so I hope I've collected enough. I just hope I have. General, come in. You've got hostile ships inbound. I see them. The Valkyries. Expert pilots away from Nefarious. I'll lose them in the asteroid belt. You just head for Lumos. Just you and me alone, Max. Show me what you've got. Valkyries, attack! Copy that, Captain. Fusion cannons armed! Uh, of course, so I have to destroy 10 ships to be able to... Uh, of course, this is definitely a thing that I'm going to have to do. Not hard, but annoying, of course, but not hard. It's just more annoying than e anything. Like, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. It's not like I'm getting hurt that much, but I can do this. It's, it's just keep firing the lasers and then I should have it, I guess. I don't know why they would make this like a challenge and everything. Like I, I get that if they like had a cooldown system for your weapon. Did I really die? Wow, I actually did die. I cannot believe I died, and b because of my overconfidence of being able to do this, I did not know that I was dying and getting hurt. Like I can't even tell where my health is on this ship. So me being able to do this without dying the first time. Not exactly something that I thought was going to happen. I never thought that dying even once was going to happen, but apparently they were. I was a little bit overconfident and everything, but I can do this. I definitely can do this. I just have to make sure that I don't get blasted and killed. And with the giant... Where's the giant ship? Oh, there it is. Duh. So I just keep firing, make it, bring up the stuff. Okay, I am not doing well. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It seems like I can't get too close to the giant ship when the giant ship is unshielded. Because if I get too close to the giant ship, then that's gonna make it so I can't do this, apparently. I guess that's something that now I know and it's gonna help me. I'm not really sure, but that seems like it's helping me. Because I got to the second phase of the shield and everything, so that that is something, I guess. So, by just being able to do this, I guess I'm able to defeat the giant ship. I just have to make sure... Okay, okay, get away, get away, get away. Don't really want the giant ship. Re yeah, really do not want the giant ship. Just want to be able to do this well. Let's just go. Come on. Get away, get away, get away from the giant ship, because the giant ship is not exactly what I would like to be. Okay. Let me just do this, please. Let me just have this done. Why can't I kill you already? Thank you. Is that it? Or, like, what do I do? Like, I'm gonna be landing on one of these areas right now. Yeah, I'm gonna land for a second and I'm gonna go and. Yeah, I'm gonna be collecting a Zuni right now. Seeking warrior with a thirst for battle. Well, did you tell them you were a thrill seeking warrior with a thirst for battle? I was trying to make friends. Listen, I'm in a lot of trouble. They've entered me in their tournament. You gotta get me out of here. All right, I'll be there as soon as I can. Just find some place to hide and stay put until I get there. Message received. Work out. 
I can't believe Quark being Quark and everything actually got himself into danger. Oh wait, yes I can. I can believe all of that just because Quark is not smart. He is a stupid idiot that thinks that he knows what he's doing, but he really doesn't. He thinks that he knows what's going on and how things are. Okay, how do I... Okay, how do I move again? Okay, so that, I guess, is how you're supposed to do it. Or what? Okay, so that... Okay, I would like to take you out. I know that. If I do this correctly, then I'm gonna have this be good. Okay, first of all, I'm taking you out just because I can. And then you... I would need to have one of these weapons. Um, thank you. This just in. An expert at the Polaris Consortium of Geological Oddities has confirmed that Riken 5 is experiencing another ice age. No word yet on whether the sub-zero temperatures are related to the so-called time crisis. But a foreman at Magma Refinery Sigma did report seeing lava flow back into the volcano from whence it came. This just before it started snowing. Pepper! Yes, Kit? Do you have anything to report? No, Kit. A oh, bountiful contribution as usual, Pepper. We'll be right back. Um, of course, that... Okay, okay, okay. Put one down. You can't come after me. You cannot come after me because I have... Come after me. Do your worst with those end mines. Come on. Come on. Gonna come follow me or am I just gonna have to stand over here? You know I can actually do this if... And everything. I... Uh, of course I can't. Why am I running out of uh, ammo? I don't know why, but I am running out of ammo a lot here. I just want to be able to do this, and by collecting the ammo, I should be able to do this. Okay, so... Just do this. Come on. Fire up. Okay, you, you are a creature that... Are, is with Clank. I know what type of creatures you are. You're time creatures, and that's not good, but I do need to... Okay, so I do need to come here. Okay, good. Now I just need to make sure that I can do this. Okay, okay, bring me over here. Over here, over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am not good with these combat systems this combat area thing whatever whenever there's combat in a game like this or in games I am not good with the guns and everything I'm not someone who on the regular plays um, gun games I'm not someone who normally plays gun games playing them regularly is not something that I'm good with thank you now I just need to take this out Sorry, I need to take... Okay, I'm pressing R2 and then square and then... Thank you. I don't know why it wasn't wanting to work for me. Okay. At least I don't have to bring those down. That's a good thing. Okay, where are the Zuni? I mean, like, what's the Zuni that I need to be collecting here? Like, I would really like to be collecting the Zuni, and thank you. Okay! Ah! Dag! Stop! Thank you! I don't know if collecting the Zuni is something that I need to be doing, but I am doing it just because it seems like upgrading my ship is something that is required. It seems required, but I'm not really the sure. Emotional satisfaction that only comes from crushing skulls? If so, there's only one place to go. Battleplex, battleplex, battleplex! That's right, where pectoral muscles dance and blood flows free.
Okay, thank you. So I have upgraded my ship. I don't know if that is actually something that I need, but at least I have upgraded my ship and... Trying not to fight here. Trying not to fight. Um, let's see what's on this one. I'm doing a lot of the, the spaceship things just because I don't know what is necessary and what... Okay, so this is a combat arena thing. Oh, I got a mod chip. That's really cool. Um, yes, please. I would like to customize my, um, okay, so for this. Oh, shockwave. Um, yeah, let me try shockwave. And yeah, these upgrades are unknown, so I don't know what those are. And. Yeah, I would like to have them be landmines because they are actually helping. As they are landmines. So, I did not know that I could get mod chips from doing these planet things. I did not know that, but I do have to figure out where my ship is. I do have to figure that out. And I would like to also here get more stuff that I didn't realize that I could find. And is this where... What's this? Um, apparently nothing because I just destroyed it. Okay, I've already gone to that one, and, um, where do I go exactly? Like, like, on the map it says I have to go to where? So I don't, so I can go there, but it's saying that I might need to go there or there. Like, like, maybe I need to go to an unvisited planet, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go to this area, but before anything... Okay, so I think I've gone to there. Warning. Deep space detected. Okay, so I made it to a planet, I made it to a planet, thank you. Thought that was what was happening. Ah, perfect timing. I've triangulated the obsidianized location to somewhere in these caves. Follow me. This baby here deals maximum damage. For a fair price, of course. Yes, I know I get um a discount because of stuff. Because of playing all three future games, I get a discount. And I really do like that. I like Ratchet and Clank for doing that where if you play all three Ratchet and Clank games in a series, like I played all the two both um, Ratchet and Clank, Tools of Destruction, and Quest for Booty in the future series, I get a discount, and that's really cool that this game does that. Even if it didn't do that, it's still really cool that that um, I still do get a discount for even it, even yeah. recognizing that that I have the games on my um, system because I actually um, like to play the games in order just so then I know what I can and cannot do within the in the series because what I mean is I, I like knowing the story I like knowing the story and what I can and cannot do within like the story sense and everything but I really do wonder okay let me use this to see what this does um that's supposed to do something and I don't know what but I just wasted some um ammo so I would like to fuel my ammo and then I should be able to... What are you going to say? We have to find a way to raise that mining platform. Luckily, I come prepared. There. Head to the bottom. See if you can raise the platform. I'll cover you from here. Yeah. Your father and I used to come here all the time when we were children. Back when this was a raritanium mine. Looks all dried up now, but believe me, this whole place used to shimmer. We'd sneak in after the Vollards left and just hover boot through the darkness. <laughs> Caden almost broke his arm right over there. We had some good times out here. Oh! Did not know that was gonna happen. Um, sure, why not? Let's just do this. Nice job, Ratchet! I knew you could do it! Come on, get back up here and let's find that eye! Yeah, and I would like to get that gold bolt that I saw. Looks ripe enough to spring 
get back to the surface, try jumping on it. No, duh. I figured that out by myself. Don't need you to tell me. But I do understand why um, Azimuth is telling me because Azimuth is supposed to be like the guide character, like telling me how to do things. So if I haven't already figured it out, it, it helps. He helps, I mean. So. I don't know how I got this gold bolt, but I chanced it and I got it after a few attempts. After a few attempts, I finally got it, but I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that I collected the gold bolt, but I have to now make my way over to here. And yes, I did not want to have to climb up again, but yeah, I have 6 of 40. The more gold bolts I get, the more extra stuff I collect, and I would like to do that, just because I would like to, um, like, have I unlocked anything, like, extra, um, oh, um, okay, did not know that each planet had their own skill point, so it's going back to the original Ratchet and Clank style and everything, and, um, skins. Okay, so I have six gold bolts, and... Okay, so I need nine to do this one. And I'm gonna guess that that's um, Ratchet's Disguise. And then that one is Dave Johnson. I'm guessing a developer, as I keep saying. A developer on Ratchet & Clank games that passed away, I guess. Yeah, Mr. Mustachio, basically, in one of the games, at... Asmith, Alistair Asmith. Dr. Nefarious, and stuff like that, but I can I can do this one just because I did Quest for Booty and everything. I'm not going to, because I like the original, of course, but... Are these, like, for the skill points and everything? And, um... Um, what's this? Oh, that's that. Okay, so it does tell me how many bolts, no, how many Zuni I need to be able to go and upgrade the ship. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. I'm glad that it, that I do have a menu for that because I thought I didn't for some reason and not having a menu would not be smart because I, because I really wanted to know how much I needed. How many Zuni, I mean. Hold up. See that nest over there? Tetramites. Stay close and whatever happens, do not let them touch you. What happens if they do? Let's just say they can digest anything. Now remember, Tetramites hate water. If we can get to the other side of that creek, we'll be fine. Let's move! Ratchet, hurry! If I can just set down a few of these landmines, and then I... Yeah, if I can set down a few of these landmines, I should be okay to do this. Because I would like to be able to do what I am doing. You're reminding me more of your father every minute. <laughs> Come on. You're reminding me more of your father every minute. <laughs> Come on. We're almost through. Yes, almost through. Uh, of course. Do I have my ammo restock? Or... Yes, I do. So, I would like to... Okay, 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 nice. do not come Over after me. This. There's a rock ledge down there we used to hover boot off of. Straight into nothingness. <laughs> I was scared the first time. But your father, he didn't blink. Feels like yesterday. General, can we talk about what happened? With my father, the Lombaxes. Now is not the time for distractions. Not when we're this close. <laughs> So that's basically the the his way of saying I don't want to talk about the Lombat suit, apparently. So how in the heck am I supposed to do this now? Because it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to get over to there unless I uh, jet boot over there. Yeah, I can't do this. I am legitimately not gonna be able to do this unless I do this. I was in the water! It wasn't working! Come on! Ah, thank you. I got a checkpoint. Thank you for the checkpoint. That just saved my butt a lot. Because 
I <laughs> yeah, I was not doing so hot. Yeah, I need to make sure that I don't get hurt. Ratchet. Keep going and don't look down. Don't look down because of that? Oh, of course. Yeah, Easy. they're trying to try to kill me. Easy. Th You're almost there. Okay, why is he treating me like I'm his son? I'm not his son. I'm someone else's son. I'm not his son. I get why he is, but... What did I tell you? A leap of faith. General, wait! Did I really need a cutscene for that? Did I really need him to have a cutscene to explain me that? Because it did not do anything. Okay, leap of faith, I guess. General, will you just stop for a second? I want to know what happened. <laughs> questions, questions. You ask all these questions. Ask yourself this. How relevant is the past when it can be changed? Your father would have said not very. That's him. And you still haven't given me a straight answer. Now why aren't you with the Lombaxes? Because I failed them! I failed them. I made a mistake. After the Great War, Polaris was a dangerous place. Even with the Kragmites gone, I knew steps needed to be taken to protect the galaxy. One day, we were approached by an inventor with incredible ideas, technology light years beyond what we were using. The inventor was someone... someone your father warned me not to trust. Our kind had grown suspicious of him, but I was convinced this was the right thing to do for the galaxy. I granted him full access to our technology, all of our secrets, only when he was finished. They took refuge in the court, but your father refused. He would never have left your mother, but when he made it back, she... she was already gone. I don't know how long he survived before Takian caught up with him, but I know I was responsible for his death. For my crimes? I was forbidden from joining the Lombaxes, and so, I live in exile. I can make it right, Ratchet. All of it. I... We can fix it. With the clock under our control, it'll be like none of this ever happened. Stay with me, and I promise, I'll get your family back. <laughs> So he helped Emperor Tachyon from Tools of Destruction create those items that Emperor Tachyon had in the first game? Interesting. Did not even think of that. Did not even think that it was um, Lombax technology. Outsiders, please, you must help. The Agorians have launched a full-scale assault on the settlement. Our kind has barricaded themselves in their homes. We have no time for petty squabbles. Ratchet, remember the mission. The Obsidian Eye is all that matters. The Eye? It's in a temple. I can take you there. Please, we are not an aggressive race. Help us defeat the Agorians and I'll show you where it is. Before anything, I will be... Really? I can't do this? Really? I can't upgrade Ratchet right now? That really sucks. I have the bolts and everything, and I can't do it. Really sucks. But I would like to do this for a second because I can, and I want to upgrade my... um Not upgrade, but I want to get more ammo and do stuff like that, so then... <clears throat> yeah, I would like to upgrade. Um, what All does right, this do? Chief. What can we do you for? Oh, that's a crossbow. Don't need a crossbow. Just would like to have my grenade landmine things. So, 
Let's just get with what the program is here. Would love to upgrade with you, but I can't upgrade with you because you're not allowing me to. So now, what? Oh, I actually have to do this. And jump. Excuse me? What? 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 What happened? At least I can get more bolts, but still, like, what exactly happened? Aren't these the same enemies that were on the um, asteroid or something? The asteroid like planet thing? Because it really does feel like it. It really does feel like. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. I've upgraded this weapon, so yes. I'd like to destroy you as much as I can, please. I wish I could upgrade. Oh, okay, so there's a what? Oh, okay, so there's that up there. I don't know if I'm doing this even correctly. Like I, I don't know where Alistair Asmith is. I don't know where he is at the moment. I do know that I did a few things without him, so maybe I've skipped him. Maybe I'm not really sure. But if I have, uh, apparently I have skipped him because I went a different direction and he's just standing right there. And I am not going to deal with him. I am just not going to deal with him right now just because I want to be doing this and I don't need him telling me exactly what I need to do, how I need to do it, and everything like that. Okay, so I'm going to need to grab this and bring it where? Uh, of course, bringing it there was something that I needed to do. I hope I'm able to collect the Zuni. I really hope I am able to collect the Zuni because I would really like to do that. I do not want to fall. Do not want to fall and thank you. Thank you. Collecting the Zuni, something that is very helpful because I don't know if, if upgrading my ship is ever necessary. So doing it is seeming like it's good. And I get an upgrade ship. Yes, I get one of these, a rhino thing. Not an upgrade chip, but a rhino. So I'm glad that I am doing everything that I can in these areas. I am just really glad that I am because by doing everything in these areas, I am able to finally collect everything that I do need to be collecting. Of course, I have one of these now. Just keep doing what I'm doing and then I should have it. Did I do it? I hope I did. I do see something over here, so that's gonna be good. Oh, it's a Zuni. Thank you. I'm glad that I am collecting the Zuni. The Zuni are one thing that I am very glad that I am collecting, and I only need one more to be able to upgrade my ship. And... Where else do I go? So, these are the creatures that I have to take out, I guess. If, if these are the creatures that I need to take out, then... Okay, so yeah. That's what I had to do. Okay. Outsiders, we've got hyper tanks going in over the ridge. We're gonna need some heavier firepower. Wait here. I'll cover you from the sky. You did absolutely nothing! Why are you saying that you have done something when you're not doing anything? And anyway, I need to get over to here as fast as possible so then I can go and, um... Yeah, thank you for reloading my ammo for me and I just need to now make sure that I can find the weapons that... Okay, so where are the weapons? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Trying really hard not to go and die here. Nice work. Now take cover. I'm moving in. Good work. Now, it's gonna deal with two burst abuses. It seems very straightforward with this. 
Seems very straightforward with this. Very, very straightforward. As long as I have my powerful weapons, I should have this. As long as I have my powerful weapons, I should be able to do this. Okay, so I have leveled that up and everything. And... Oh, I actually have to take this out and then I should... Did I defeat it? Like yes. So a tank can't kill me, but falling off the ledge is... Okay, makes sense. That makes so much sense that falling off a ledge kills me more than a tank can. Really? So falling off a cliff is something that kills me anyway, but a big giant monster-like thing can't. Of course. So, now I know that big giant monsters can't kill me, but little tiny cliffs can. Great, that makes total sense. Don't like it, but it makes sense that that stuff like cliffs can kill me, but monsters really can't. Good thing that the monsters weren't Cliffs, because I would have died immediately. Bones are in bound, Commander. Enter attack formation and destroy the rebels. Outsider, I'm activating our defensive station. It's fully charged and ready for combat. Our fighters are in bound, Commander. Destroy the rebels. I need positions. Copy that. Stand by for nav sync. So basically the alien race that I was trying to go and the, the enemies I was fighting in space basically is what I needed to go and I'm trying to take out you guys why aren't you dying really appreciate it if I can take you guys out And, um, okay, so you're going to try to throw bombs at me. That's, that's something. That's something new that I need to watch out for. So I have 40 of them I need to take out. And they're not going to be that easy to take out because I only have so much of the stuff that I can do. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. But I will be needing to get this um armor that this creature is not letting me have because even though I have the bolts, I still cannot get it. Please, let me have it. Please, allow me to. I have enough.
I have enough bolts to be able to get, get that new armor, but for some reason... Happy to be of service. However, there is the matter of guiding us to the Obsidian Eye. Yes, of course. Naturally, I can't take you there myself. Far too treacherous for me. But here is something to help you through the caves. We closed these caves off years ago. Too many dangers, too many deaths. Perhaps that Omni Soaker will ward off the Tetramites. You two all right in there? Looks like the door rusted right off its track. I'll try to get it fixed, but um, uh, it might be a while. Try breathing real shallow like. Well, looks like the only way out is in. What do you think? Should we give that Omni Soaker a try? Good. Now, see if you can use it to fatten up that hydroplane. You have to admire Pollard Engineering. That Omni Soaker can suck up almost anything. Water, nectar, even oil. So I have a hydro displacer. Oh, of course I do. And I'm gonna guess that it. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be in coming in handy here. Rika's worm root produces a sugary nectar the tetramites can't stay away from. Try your Omni Soaker on it. What am I supposed to do again? Because I just died immediately. Okay, so now I. Just go and make sure that I can do this. And thank you for telling me where I need to go. I'm glad that something here is letting me know what... Oh! Did not know that they just change. Um, of course they do. So I'm going to guess that this is going to be a mechanic later within the game and right now. Come on, Ratchet! The great clock awaits! You did it, Ratchet! Well done! Come on! The Obsidian Eye is right this way! So is the Obsidian Eye the same thing? Oh, good lord, good lord, good lord, good lord. Is the Obsidian Eye the same thing that, that they looked through to find this galaxy within um, Quest for Booty? Because if so, then that makes sense. That would make total sense that this is the same thing that they use within Quest for Booty and everything. But if it is, then it is. If it's not, then whatever. Then this is going to be something new that I from reversing the greatest tragedy in the history of the universe. Your mother, your father, they'll both be right here, safe and sound. You really think the clock can save them? <laughs> of course. That's what it was built for. Come on. And I'm gonna guess that Ratchet meets his father and mother and basically has to say goodbye to them and everything. I hope he gets a good bye for them. Fulcrum star is correct. We may not be able to get a signal. Stand by for system uplink. Clank! Ratchet, how did you find me? Are you kidding me? You think I'd leave my best pal out here alone? Who is that behind you? Is that a Lombax? Yeah, this is General Azimuth. He's been helping me look for you. Just send me your coordinates and we'll pick you up. Signal integrity 33%. Ratchet, I need your help. Orvis is in trouble. You must go to Xenophar and confront Dr. Nefarious. Xenophar? Dr. Nefarious hasn't set foot on that rock since his station was completed two years ago. Then that is when you must confront him. Head to the Tomley outpost and look for a time portal. Please, save my father. Father? What's going on? <laughs> you cannot hide in the broom closet forever, Sigmund. Orvis needs our help. Now, can you synthesize a time portal on Xenophar? I suppose... Suppose I could use the oscilloscopic entanglement modulator to create a vacuum of negative energy, theoretically creating a traversable wormhole. Time rift stabilized. Ta-da! If my nav unit's correct, 
Our ships are right on the other side of this wall. Good work in there, Ratchet. I'll meet you on planet Xanafar. Okay, so I'm gonna need to go to planet Xanafar and need to do stuff there, but I will be doing that next episode because, wow, trying to get to the, even this point took forever, and I am not good with the guns, but I am getting better with the ammo and trying to conserve it and try to kill the enemies, but I still have a problem with cliffs. Cliffs are my Achilles heel, apparently, and I keep dying because of them, but... I am glad that I am able to do what I am doing, at least. I am glad that I'm at least able to do what I'm doing. But, anyway, I am just going to leave this episode here, and I am just going to go. See ya! If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy the subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next one. Bye-bye!